Pete's got me out of bed early on a Saturday. It's not right. Is it Pete? No. <laughs> Pete doesn't care. Cheerleader for today. Finally. Somebody else's fault. Nope. It's yours. There's the bus going to the game. All right. You did. Morning. It's nine o'clock, Ashley has to go to work. Pete and I just got back from the JV individual and team pitches. He dragged me along and it was cold. So what time are you working till? Two. Two? And then are you coming home or are you going Mark. out? And he is working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday now and then it's Thanksgiving Thursday. So good that he's working, so but we aren't gonna get to do pictures till... After Christmas. No, I need them for my cards. I'll just use last year's. No one will notice. Just use different pictures. Hey, I'll just take one right now and use that because that's cute. You and Roxy. Let's zoom in. So, your earrings were a hit yesterday. Do you have them on again today? Let's have a look. Because I didn't have them on here, I just put them on. Oop, your hair's over him, hun. Ashley's new earrings from Express. Absolutely gorgeous they are. Right, I'm gonna let you go because you are obviously not in a chatty mood. <laughs> I'm tired too. Night. Bye. Bye. First time. English bacon. In there. I should have made tea, not coffee. Oh well. This is the best sound in the world. Bacon! I'm going to fry an egg too, I'm spoiling myself. Ta-da! Breakfast, and I have to wash this because I hate to be sitting eating and then knowing I've got the washing up to do. So I'm kind of one of those that has to get it washed up as I go. So there's breakfast, and I'm going to go enjoy it. It's only 9.30, so it really truly is breakfast. And I toss the coffee, I'm going with a tea. So, got to reboil the kettle because you have to have it boiling hot. So, there we go. We will see you when that is all gone. Too busy talking and I missed the Empire State. It's behind that building. Can't see because of the sun, but it's over there, guys. I just saw it. So, we're on our way to see Pete's dad. Yeah. I had Pete buy me dinner for lunch. You might have to do dinner Gourmet. as well. Gourmet. Huh? Gourmet. Gourmet, yes. Burgers from Burger King. They're actually delicious. Because on today, now this one's coming over. Look at these idiots. There's no... Up on my side here. Okay, we almost hit this guy. This guy should get off the road if he's got a problem with his car. Yeah, he should because he's doing 10 miles an hour. it off he's fine it's lost that's what it was there's a skyline I just don't know if I'm getting it because I can't see because of the sun but hopefully Here's all the hospitals. Special surgery, that one, right? Um, this one. Oh, that one. That's the hospital and Pete was in. All, Just a small building. All, and this is where Pete's the dad is. Thing. And we're gonna go park somewhere a little bit cheaper. Just in the garage waiting for the car. Pete's around there somewhere. That's Dinesh. Drinking my coffee. Coffee. 
You don't usually drink coffee at night. Not at night. Well, it's actually only 5.30. It feels like night. Yeah. Long day. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Williamsburg oh. Bridge. Because I was like, I thought it was a train thing at first, and then I saw that. I was like, no, they look like tracks. I'm leaving the city. It's a big one. Yeah. There's the pretty bridge. Everything looks prettier at night in the city. of the lights. You can't see how dirty everything is. Yeah. It's in his favourite place. That's so good. Guys, just got back. Um, as you saw, we went in and visited Pete's dad. And I have to say, this is the first time I've come back from the hospital feeling a bit relieved. Before he had this surgery, he was whispering and um, talking. And I had not seen that because Ash went with Pete. Because if you remember, it was, the night, it was the night we were without power. So I stayed here and Ash went with her dad and was able to talk to her grandfather. And it was great. She felt relieved. Well, I haven't, the last few times I've been, because he had the surgery, he couldn't talk again. But today he was actually whispering. Told me he loved me, gave me a kiss, was holding my hand was asking me about my mom, asking about these two little ragamuffins. He was asking how the pups were, and because he's an absolute dog lover. He has a dog of his own, Penny, who he misses like crazy. But it just felt really good to actually hear him. It's in a whisper, it's, he's not talking loudly, and he can only say a couple of words at a time because, you know, you can see that he has to take his breath and then carry on. But I actually left there feeling really encouraged today um you know he said he's feeling beep beepish and it was good to hear him <laughs> say things like that because when he swears you know he's he's back he's getting back to rights and he's frustrated i mean it's seven weeks today guys that he has been in one hospital or another and he's been through a few surgeries and He's gotten to this stage before, and then when he had the surgery, he went back a few steps. I mean, he had a massive, massive surgery. Now, oh, I thought I had someone come in. He's still in critical condition. He's still in the cardiac care unit, but there is talk of him moving to this rehab next week. And he said today, once he gets there, he'll feel better because he'll know he's on to the next stage. It was cute. Um, Pete thanked him for fighting and then got a bit emotional so I got emotional and his dad kind of looked you know and it was just a nice moment and it, I was really glad that I went I knew I was going today anyway but I'm glad I went but he did say that he's tired and he asked you know he said you guys should go and we think half of that is Pete's brother had been there just before us and texted us and said he's telling me to leave so um I know that it's hard for him sitting there and talking. We left him be. Ash is out. Ash picked me up this candle from Bath and Body Works. And I've got my cup of tea. I just um, had a cheese and onion sandwich and a piece of, oh, sorry guys, dropped you. A piece of sausage roll. Now I'm gonna watch this Christmas movie. These are just the Lifetime movies there. Um, They've been on all day today. They're on all day and all night. They're just the t made for TV movies. This one's called, what is this one called? That's a good question, Sue. What is this one called? <laughs> I've seen it a million times, but I taped a bunch, Holiday Wishes. So I taped a bunch so I can watch them at my leisure. And I've got the room all calm. So it's time to chill out. On the way home from the city, we stopped at this micro center so Pete could get the cables and he needed new DVD discs. So he, he puts all his photos every now and again on a disc. We have boxes and boxes and boxes of discs. So that way, they're archived. There you go. Archived on discs. So we have double backups of all his weddings and things like that and all this, the sports stuff. He went to the varsity soccer game right after the cheerleading um, picture today this morning and they won. They win. Go Rams. He's settled now, look. Settled and she's laying on me. 
You're so much cuter when you're not making all that noise, Lou. Ooh, that was my stomach. I don't know if you guys heard that. Maybe it's yelling at me for having cheese and onion sandwich, but I felt in an English mood, so that's what I had. We were going to run in tomorrow afternoon and then go to Myers, but they're not get Myers of Keswick is the grocery store in Greenwich Village in the city that has, yeah, the British store, I mean, has everything. The pork pies, sausage rolls, bacon, laundry stuff, all that good stuff. And they are waiting for their Christmas container that's being held for checking by the FDA approval board, whoever it is, I don't know. But they put on their Facebook that it was supposed to be here Friday and now it's not going to be until Monday. So there's no point really going. Because when I was there last Sunday, they had none of their Christmas stuff in yet. And I want to go get see if they have tins of sweets and stuff for Christmas. Going to make it an English Christmas. It would be lovely if Pete's dad was home for it, but I don't think he's going to be. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and we're going to Pete's mum's, as we always do. She does Thanksgiving, and I do Christmas. So it's going to be different not having Pete's dad at the Thanksgiving table this year, but at least we feel we have some hope now that he is going to recover. But he's, you know, he's definitely on the road to recovery. It's definitely a more positive sign today. Again, he is in critical, but he's definitely, definitely... I actually left there so hyper because I really feel different by seeing him today than I felt any of my visits since he went in on the 29th of September. So I'm encouraged. I feel really good, and I can't wait to call my mum tomorrow and fill her in on the good news. Um, yeah. So on that note, I'm going to finish my tea before it goes ice cold. I hope everyone had a great Saturday. Whatever you're doing, hope it was a good one. I'm going to love and leave you for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.